What is going on, you guys? This is Spyderco64 back here once again with yet another brand new NASCAR Authentics review for all of you here today. And in today's brand new NASCAR Authentics review, and I please apologize if you can hear the noise in the background. Some people just talk way too loud. But in today's video, we are here to have a look at two Darlington throwbacks here today. And this is a part of the bonus i i think it's a bonus wave i'm not sure because i don't pay it again i really need to address this i don't pay attention much to the nascar authentics line anymore but i assume that this is like a bonus wave because this does not have any of the wave markings or anything like that but here today we are have we're going to be having a look at sheldon creed and austin hills darlington throwbacks from 2023 yeah, kind of funny how you pair these two um, alongside each other. But, I mean, really, to be fair, could Lionel really could have predicted the full freaking drama that was going on between these two drivers? They probably could not, though. But these two cars, again, have a, have a theme going on here. So both Sheldon Cree and Austin Hill right here are throwing it back to Kevin Harvick's two bush series championships sheldon creed has thrown it back to his ac delco um championship winning car from back in 2001 and then austin hill is thrown it back to his coast guard number 21 um, back in 2006 so yeah these two are of course honoring kevin harvick's um two bush series championships for richard Childress racing kind of funny how the uh the cup how the cup series um Kyle and um, Austin Dillon didn't even do a throwback. Lazy. But anyhow, anyways, though, we're going to, of course, get into these two diecasts here today. Um, when I first saw these uh, leaked out, uh, especially on original Big Bri's video, or on uh, original Big Bri's uh, Instagram, I knew I had to get these two. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to start off here with Sheldon Creed first. Now, looking at the packaging right here, you can, of course, tell it's it's changed a little bit so we've got the nascar authentics logo up here 75th anniversary logo now as of course you can see there is no more trinket there is no more sticker that usually comes with these die casts from what i've read and from what i've heard lionel basically removed those because they were getting way too expensive and they wanted to cut down on it so they can focus on the die cast Take with you that as you will, but I do have to admit, though, these two actually turn out pretty okay. So, okay, going back to the packaging. So now, instead of no trinket, we instead just have the window net back here, a checker flag back there, Darlington Raceway, the official throwback weekend of NASCAR. We got Sheldon Creed. Here's the car right here, and then, of course, there is the uh, checkered pattern back there. And on the back right here, it's basically the same. Collect them all. There's the barcode. It used to be down here. Now it's not. There's your legalese. And actually looking here at the wave right here. So this wave consists of, of course, Hill and Creed. And then we also have, um, actually, first of all, I just kind of have to say, this is a pretty solid wave, all things considered. Um, what kind of sucks, though, is that all these cars were basically all made in the, if, I, if I'm correct, all these cars were made in the Gold Series, right? Definitely know the LA one was. Definitely know about the Chastain, the Byron. That's, of course, the eventual race winner. And then, of course, I know Harvick, Briscoe. I don't know. Logano's is kind of iffy. I kind of feel like that one didn't get made, but I don't know. Maybe then I, I could be really um, – I could be wrong. But, again, this is not a very – this is a very solid wave, albeit all these cars did make it into the um, Gold Series except for Creed and Hill. I would prefer it if they would have put other throwbacks from the Xfinity series. Like, who ran another? Um, someone ran a payday um, throwback to Kevin Harvick, too. Who did that? I I, I forget at the moment, but... Um, oh, oh, yeah, also, too, they could have added, like, a Ryan Newman throwback. God, I really would have loved that. Okay, I ran, rammed on way too much, but I just have to kind of get that out of the way just because I haven't reviewed these in a while. So, with that being said... Well, yeah, we're going to start here with Sheldon Creed. Let's go ahead and just rip it open. Yeah, uh, we're just going to 
Yep, you hear that? I'm just gonna throw it away. We're, these are all, the, the boxes are pretty much gonna go into the trash. Okay, so here is the Sheldon Creed car. Let's get an up close look on this one. Let's see if we'll focus or not. I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, there we go. So yeah, here's the car itself. And again, a really, really solid looking throwback. Now, what's actually kind of funny, every time I do look at the DC or the AC Delco paint scheme, I don't really think of, of Kevin Harvick. I always think of Dale Jr. So I think a lot of people might be confused thinking that this is a throwback to Dale Jr. It's not. It's supposed to be Kevin Harvick. Yeah, of course, uh, if you know the story about 2001, I, I, okay, here's the thing is that if you're not a NASCAR fan and you don't know about, about 2001, are you really a true fan? I'm just saying, but this is, of course, a year. I'm just going to say it. We all know what happened at Daytona. Of course, uh, Dale Earnhardt tragically passed away at the final lap of the Daytona 500. Kevin Harvick was brought in to run the next race at Rockingham, and he did something, and I am basically just... Um, paraphrasing this from slap shoes but uh some slap shoes video about um kevin harvick breaking the feeder system but kevin harvick that year did something that a lot of fans of course none of us like if you're really barely getting into the sport you probably never seen and that is you probably will never see again and that is x and that is cup drivers running both xfinity and cup full time now that kind of is more or less virtually impossible now, I think. I don't know. Actually, actually, I mean, if really, if, the, if like, for example, which if John Arnimacek really wanted to, he could probably do both of them. Because let's be very honest, he's not going to win a cup race this year because of the Legacy of Motorsport Club being a bit iffy and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, though, Kevin Harvick was the first ever driver to run both Cup and Xfinity in the same year, full time for all the races. But looking though at this car itself, Man, I really love the blue on this car. And also, it's really faithful to the to the um, original paint scheme itself because of the number as well. The number two car, uh, the famous number two car for um, for um, for Richard Childress. And yeah. And in terms of quality itself, I don't know. I, the car looks good. It looks really good. It honestly is a really solid looking release. I don't see any issues. I don't really see any issues when it comes to it. But yeah, though. So we're going to go over the sponsors here real quick. I don't want to make this overly long and over exaggerated. I, I really just hate kind of diecast reviews that say every single goddamn logo. Of course, with these NASCAR Authentics, well, especially these ones, the normal ones. No windshield banner, that's that's okay. Willen, manufactured in America, kind of got that old school kind of look to it. Here's the front nose, looking really solid. Uh, it does kind of look a bit crooked. Okay, yeah, it does kind of look a bit crooked. They had multiple ones of these, and this was like the best one, like out of Walmart. So there you go. There's the front nose, and then on the side. Of course, Goodyear, the Goodyear Eagles. And then on the side, I got number two, Wheelin. And it's kind of funny how there's just all white here. I don't know, that kind of looks kind of plain. Uh, South Point Casino is right there. And then you got Sheldon Creed's name right there. You got Wheelin. Team Fox for the Parkinson's research. Okay. And then wheeling right there again. And the same thing is on the other side. No, no really difference. Now, in order to tell this, this is from the 75th year. There's the logo right there looking pretty cool. And overall, not a bad release. Yeah, really cool. And also, this is like the only way you can get a Sheldon Creed card from 2023. As they didn't make uh, his plane scheme, but they didn't change it. And they didn't change it. For Jesse Love for this year. So just kind of goes to show how much the driver number two is expendable in RCRs in the name of Richard Childress, of Dick Childress right here. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the Austin Hill one next. The packaging is virtually the same, and we are going to get this thing open. 
Okay. There you go. All right. Now time to have a look here at Austin Heel. Heel. So, yeah, Austin Hill, arguably um, the NASCAR Xfinity Series, um, its biggest bully, gets a die cast. Uh, actually, here's the thing. I actually really like these Austin Hill die cast, even though I think the guy's like just so two-faced and it's just such a, and it's just such like, such a, he's a bully. Like, that's the thing. Austin Hill is a bully. That's what he is. He's a big bully. Yeah. So yeah, this now is thrown it back to Kevin Harvick's. Now, what's actually kind of funny is that when I look at this paint scheme, I do think of Kevin Harvick. Other than the the wheeling one, like like sometimes when I look at that, I think of Dale Jr. Coming from a Dale Jr. fan here, by the way. But looking at this car, however, again, I really, really like the way that this came out. Absolutely love it. Yeah, really, like the blue just looks so, so nice. I think the blue looks really better on here than on the Whelan car. I don't know if you guys think about that. I don't know. So, yeah, of course, as you can see, instead of Coast Guard, it's Benedict. But the number is correct, number 21, right there. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. Um, let's now go ahead and have another quick look at the... Oh, that's a little bit of an oopsie right there. There's, like, a white scratch... Yeah, that's like a paint chip of some sorts. That's not great. And the nose actually looks pretty good. Uh, the Camaro headlights look actually pretty centered. Uh, let's see if there's a bit some oopsies here. I don't see any other oopsies. I don't see any. Oh, I guess there's a paint chip down there. But it's so small that you probably would not even notice. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's now go ahead and have a look at the sponsors here. So on the hood, you got Benedict Transportations and Logistics. You got the front nose right there looking really nice. Uh, of course, uh, I already mentioned the oopsie right there. Of course, you see here, uh, you got a swooping kind of effect. This is like supposed to be like, this um, car was supposed to be, um, is based off of the Coast Guard scheme. And I think that's supposed to mimic like the whoosh, like a, like a, of a, like of a, of like the of like a wave i think i don't know uh i don't really know i wasn't watching nascar around this time okay so don't uh, so i don't know fucking everything so yeah there you go uh of course uh same stuff same contingencies benedict united rentals global um what does that say global industrial.com so yeah, and I'll, yeah, and that was the sponsor where Creed and Hill basically had their beef with each other. On the right here, you got Realtree right there, South Point, Ulsco uniforms, and you got three winter stickers. So, in case you all want to remember, well, this was during Darlington, so this was so yeah, it was Daytona, but she's basically won three in a fucking row, and then Atlanta and Las Vegas. So yeah, there you go. Number 21, Benedict. Benedict right there. And then on the back, um, it says driverbenedict.com. Number 21. Okay, so uh, really nice looking cars right here. Let's see if I can get um, both of these two um, in this shot. I'm going to bring down the camera here. So uh, please hold your horses for one a minute and i'm pretty sure that this is going to be the thumbnail so there you go um overall i've got to say this is a really these two are really nice looking die cast uh i really absolutely love the way that these two came out probably one of the best nascar authentics releases i have gotten in a while and again i do need to emphasis i don't really collect much of the authentics but i gotta say like, it's just stuff like this. Like, if, if there's just more stuff like this, I would buy it. Like, uh, for example, there's like a NASCAR Authentics Wave, like another one that has a Raja Carruth and a and a Grant Enfinger truck. Of course, there are ones from last year. You bet your ass that I'm, I'm going to be really excited once they make his race win version from Vegas this year. And then a Joey Gase, another Joey Gase car, but it's an Xfinity car? Okay, Lionel, you're actually kind of cooking here. 
But overall, though, um, here's my final verdict on these two cars. I absolutely love them. And these two were not really hard to find. I went into my Walmart here today, and I was hoping that I can find these two, and I was also looking for other stuff here, too. But yeah, though, um, these two were not hard to find uh, for me. So if you're in, so yeah, if you want these two, if you especially want Hill and Creed, maybe you want, you know, to race both for these two to race against each other and you maybe want, you know, to do that and whatnot sort of have you, then you can absolutely do that. But just that kind of, but I will kind of go ahead and give my thoughts on the whole Creed and Hill situation here. In my honest opinion, I think Richard Chill's Racing is like the most toxic and the most dickish NASCAR team there is out there. Like, honestly, like everyone there is just like, holy shit. Like they're like those people over there, especially Dick Childress himself, like are just so, so stuck up. Like really honestly. And hell, I bet you here, Jesse Love's not going to last long in that two car if he races against if he races against fucking Austin Hill hard. I don't know. Uh, hope, But hey, I'm hoping Sheldon Creed can win this year for, for Joe Gibbs. Hopefully they make an Xfinity car for Sheldon Creed. I hope we get more Sheldon Creed cars. I like Sheldon Creed, by the way. It's been really a pain for him losing all those races. But what do you guys do? What do you guys think of these two die casts? Are you going to pick these up? Do you really not care about them? Or do you just not care at all? Tell me in the comments below. With that being said, I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.